EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. Madden NFL 2003. Philadelphia are out in full force today at Veterans Stadium. Glad you could be with us. Tonight's game promises to be a good one. Both teams extremely well prepared as the Dallas Cowboys come into town to face the Philadelphia Eagles. Hi and welcome everyone to another great NFL football telecast brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. I'm Al Michaels joined by John Madden. We've got two great defenses and for this team their anchor up front is this guy. He's got amazing strength and he can toss an offensive lineman like a rag doll sometimes. Let me tell you, every quarterback knows how hard he can hit. I wouldn't be surprised to see him force some quick throws with his ability to collapse a pocket. Troy Vincent and the rest of the defense will have to be at the top of their game in this one. He has to expect to see a lot of passes thrown in his direction, and it will be largely up to him to cover the best receiver on the other team. We'll have to see which defense is able to control this game from start to finish. These guys are really fired up, but they got to watch it jumping around like that. They're liable to pull something. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss. Both teams have taken the field and we're ready for tonight's kickoff. Akers looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He sends this one toward the end zone. The returner looking for room upfield. Loses one. The Cowboys will start the drive from the 29-yard line. Melissa, is there an update? I asked Coach Reed what preparations he'd made for this game. He said they've spent extra time in practice on fundamentals. Too many arm tackles on defense and easy drops on offense have killed them. The practice pays off, Al. Thanks, Melissa. They're working on the ground. Running the ball consistently is the first step in creating a balanced attack. About eight yards. the defender and he's tackled at the 37 yard line gain of six on the play it's third down two to go ball on their own 37 the quarterback gets set with only one back behind him looking downfield surveying the field passing to his right not the way Vincent didn't give him a chance on that one. An interception would have been nice, but a great play either way. Fourth and two coming up on this one. Ball on their own 37. Number four will come into this game to punt. Mitchell will be looking to give his team good field position here. Mitchell with the fair catch. So after the fair catch, the offense will head onto the field. That's a good job of getting downfield by the cover team to force the fair catch. First and ten. He gets the carry. And it looks like they'll mark it at the 32-yard line. He tried to find a hole and just got what he could. Yeah, he tried to stretch it outside. But the defense was quick to react to the play. And even quicker to move off their blocks and get in a position to cover the hole. It's second down and 10 to go. Cut. 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 
Looking downfield. Throws over to his right. He hits his receiver. Hardy makes the play at the 44. The quarterback showed you his great arm on that pass. This guy can really move. He turns things up two or three notches, but it really counts. That's the kind of thing you love to see as a coach. Guys who have that second and third gear. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 44. The Eagles line up with two backs behind the quarterback. He's looking to pass. McNair lets it fly. The 20, the 10. Williams stops him at the eight yard line. He really went up to get it. Well, a lot of these guys played basketball. They'll still play basketball. And you can really see why when you see him jump that high. It's first and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. McMahon sets up, tosses it back. And he's stopped at the 11-yard line. Face mask on the defense, number 52. Goal to go. Using motion. Back to pass. With the throw. And it's complete. He delivered that pass right on time. Perfectly for the touchdown. The quarterback went through his progression. He found the receiver that he thought had the best chance to haul it in for the score. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. And the coaching staff is happy after that drive. Touchdowns against this defense aren't easy to come by. Hey, these guys deserve to feel good about it. Now it's the defense's turn to come out and do its job. So they're now up by a touchdown. Akers will be kicking off. He gets the kick away. Number 80 is heading upfield. Their last drive ended with a three and out as the offense comes out onto the field again. First and ten. Ball on their own 27. Four-man front this time. Looking to pass. Throw it. And it's caught. The 40, Dawkins, with the tackle at the 36-yard line. Ismael displayed great leaping ability to get up and make the catch. Some of these guys have the skills to play other professional sports if they had wanted and really a chance to show off when they do things like that. It's first and ten. Only one man in the backfield. Carter lets it fly. Nice reception. Barber makes the tackle at the 16. Thomas, the motion man. With the carry. Vincent pulls him down at the 12-yard line. Pickup of about five. It's second down and six to go.
defender brings him down at the 10 yard line. That run didn't get them much. Yeah, there was a defender in every gap ready to make the tackle on that play. Ball inside the 10. Four man front this time, using motion. They'll go with a pass. Passes it. He hits his receiver. And a great throw for the touchdown. Yeah, he threw that where only the receiver could get it. And with that score, the momentum has shifted. Great. And it's up. And he tacks on the extra point. And so they turn that drive into a great one as it ends with a touchdown. The more touchdown drives, the better. Now they'll go back to the sidelines and see why they were able to beat the defense for six. And they'll try and repeat those results the next time they get the ball. Number six, looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Looking for a good return. And we'll see if they can move the ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 33. the throw. McNair with the throw. He knocked that one down. You know, he did what you're taught to do. And that's take away the ability for the receiver to catch the ball. He can't catch it when you knock it down. So it's second and ten. Throwing left, and he finds the open man. He rifled it out there. Passes like that have been known to dislocate receivers' fingers. You might want to double check and make sure he can move them all. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Quick drop. Stepping up, passes left. Nice connection. And he's tackled at the 36. And he picks up about four. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Looking for room. Staley cuts it out to the corner. And he stopped at the 21 yard line. He was able to pick up good yardage on that play. When you have a back who can pick up big chunks of yardage on his carries, it forces the defense to bring another man up to the line of scrimmage to try and control him. So they have first and ten here. Ball on the 21 yard line. McNair with three wide receivers. the throw. Throws it. Staley was the intended target. That one goes right off the receiver's hands. There's really no excuse for that. You just have to catch those balls. Second and ten. Four-man front this time. Thrash in motion. McNair throws it over to his right. He threw a great pass, and they get into the end zone. The quarterback knew that he had to make that pass perfect, and he got the job done on that one. And so once again, a touchdown pass. And 
it's on its way. The point after is good. And so they're able to move the ball a distance and punch it into the end zone. I think the whole team's happy after that one. Probably telling their defense to give them the ball back so they can go score again. And with that score, they're up by a touchdown. Akers is back and ready to put this one in the air. He sends it off. Number 80 returns this kick. Well, John, these teams are very evenly matched. This makes for a better game, I think. The strategy of the game comes into play here more. First and 10. Ball on their own 27. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Galloway, the man in motion. Tosses it back. Emmons makes the stop at the 21-yard line. He tried to find something off the edge, John, but there wasn't anything there. Yeah, but there was no corner to turn. He's looking for the corner, and it just never got there. Quarterback back in the shotgun. Steps up. Harder. Throws left. It's up for grabs. Thomas got the quarterback. Third down and long coming up here. He's going to throw. It's the pass off. It was tipped. Emmons knocked it down. I'm not surprised. That was a tough pass. <laughs> Number four is just about ready to pump this one away. <laughs> and he waves for the fair catch. Well, the offense is back on the field again. Their last drive, they moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to a touchdown. First and ten. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Throws it out over to the left. Broken up. The quarterback was feeling the pressure on that play. I'm not sure how they got through, but the defense really wanted the quarterback. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. McNair with a man in motion. With the toss. Looking for blockers. Win records the stop at the 48-yard line. He wasn't able to do anything with it there. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. The ball is right at midfield. Steinbeck for this play, and we've reached the two-minute mark. They've dug themselves into a hole here, a long third down situation. The Eagles line up with three wide receivers. Quick drop. Passing right. That one goes off the receiver's hands and brings up the right down. That's really frustrating for a guy when he knows he could have kept the drive going. They just couldn't hang on to the pass. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. Ball at midfield. Landetta is just about ready to punt this one away. Number 80 sets up, waiting for the punt. They're just about ready to get this drive started after being forced to punt on their last possession. We're guessing they're going to just throw it and do their best to move into scoring range since they don't want to go into the half with the score the way it is. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 25. Carter out of the gun. They'll go with a pass. 
tosses it right. Rambo was the intended target on that pass attempt. He was wide open. Sometimes you see the receivers drop the easiest passes. They must be thinking touchdown before making the catch. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. They're just about in field goal range. Four man front this time. He's going to throw. Looking for a receiver. Passing to his right. And he can't hang up. He threw that one into some tight coverage. Yeah, he's lucky the defender didn't come away with that pass. The defense needs to remember not to play too soft and give up big gains underneath. But they also don't want to play too tight and end up giving up a big play to set him up in scoring position. He's going to throw. Pump base. Passes it out to the left. He hits his receiver. The 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. The defense wasn't ready for that, and they pay the price on the touchdown pass. Looks like everyone bid on that play. To me, it looked like there were about 11 bites. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. Number six, looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He sends this one toward the end zone. The wedge is set up. Each of these teams have put a lot of points on the board today. <laughs> and we might be in for a slugfest today. Until they can get closer, we'll probably just see throws from them here on out. That's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. McNair with the pass. Edwards brings him down at the 36. Face mask on the defense. Number 27. They called it invert. There are so many wind flying, body parts moving around. And you just tackle whatever you can and you grab anything that's moving. Sometimes you get a handful of mass. Since the defense knows they're going to be passing, the offensive line will have to hold their ground and be ready for any type of stunt. We might even have a back try to chip on the defensive end before going out in the pass pattern. Looking to throw. Gets the pass off. He just couldn't bring that one up. That's the old rule. If you get your hands on it, you got to catch it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Back to pass. Throws over to his right. Broken up. He didn't give him a chance on that one. One thing remains constant. No matter what kind of quarterback you are, rushing your throws is going to end up in incompletion or worse. Third and long. Do they gamble here or just keep it on the ground? With the score being as it is, it might just be better playing it safe. But that's the coach's decision, not ours. The Eagles using motion. They'll go with a pass. Passes it. The defender broke that play up. He forced that pass into coverage. I'm no quarterback, but even I saw that he was covered. Time for a punt here as it's now fourth down.
Landetta will come into this game to punt. Number 80 lines up deep for the punt return. Let's see if they can have the same sort of success on this position that they had in their last. Picking up a lot of yardage through the air on their way to a score. With time running out, they'll try to set their kicker up into position to put them out in front going into the locker room. So they have first and ten here. Ball on their own 36. Drops back, passes it, hits the target with the pass. Taylor makes the stop at the 42-yard line. I'll tell you, we've had a close first half, and it should be the same for the second. And that's why it would be big if they could get a field goal here. The way this thing is going, that could be the margin of victory. Nickelback in this time, man in motion. Looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket. Passes left. And he drops the pass. He took a big chance on that pass. This guy's got to buckle down and make some better reads out there. Third down now. You'd have to think they'll look for the go-to guy here. And if the defense is thinking that too, they just right. might use him as a decoy. Third and four. Ball on their own 42. Carter under center. Wow. Gets the toss. Gardner makes the play at the 38. He couldn't reach the corner on that run. Yeah, as a back, you need to take what the defense is going to give you. That time, they wouldn't give him an inch. So the punt team gets ready as we near halftime. About eight yards. Number four is back to punt. Mitchell lines up deep for the punt return. Mitchell will try to bring this one back. And they're about ready to get this drive started after the last series ended with a punt. The defense doesn't want to play too soft underneath. Because this guy might throw to his back out in the flat. If they want to keep this thing going into halftime, they have to be aware of things like that. Four-man punt this time. He's going to throw. Gets rid of it. And they're able to connect on that one. And he slips out of bounds at the 39. Chances are they'll throw on this first down play as they try to break the tie before the half. So they have first and ten here. Coming. Coming. Set. Cut. 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 Dropping back. Throws over to his right. And he hits his target. And he picks up about four. Philadelphia takes a timeout. One timeout to be. No need to rush a throw or force one where there's double coverage. And they got to remember there's nothing wrong with going into halftime all tied up. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. McNair saw the pressure coming on that play. And that's a right decision in that case. Get rid of the ball and take the incomplete. Now it's third and six coming up. Gets the pass off. Hits the target with the pass. Williams takes him down at the 23 yard line. So that tackle was his third. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23 yard line. Timeout called by Philadelphia. That's their final timeout. They'll try to add three with a field goal before halftime. Akers heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. And it's up. And so that kick is good.
He gets the kick away. Wiley is looking for a nice return. This guy might have a strong arm, but I don't think we'll be seeing any type of Hail Mary. A simple run should get us to halftime. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 23. Carter gets set, using motion. Looking for room, and he's brought down at the 20-yard line. We've reached the halfway point. Quite a contest to this point with the score. Philadelphia, 17. Dallas, 14. Let's take a look at our halftime stats. Number six. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Mitchell feels it cleanly. Breaks the kick. The Eagles will start to drive from the 28-yard line. They have first and ten here. Man in motion. He's going to throw. With the pass, he finds his man. And he's brought down at 48. Midfield. Back to pass. Throws over to his right. And he can't hang on. Thrash. Drops it. I think he just took his eyes off that one. Melissa, anything new from the sideline? Hi, Al. The coach knows that even though his team was able to move the ball effectively in the first half, they could see a lot of different looks from the defense. They want to run the ball some more, and we'll see if they can maintain their lead, Al. Thanks for that report, Melissa. Looking to throw. Throwing left. The defender broke that play up. He saw the coverage, but he thought his man had good position. That guy has a great arm. Sometimes he takes some chances, and he throws into coverage. Third and long. Man in motion. He's looking, steps up into the pocket, throws it out over to the left. Pick off. First and ten. Carter sets up. On the run. Smith trying to juke the defenders. They're trying to move the ball on the ground. A running attack that is consistent and effective will help the offense dictate the pace of the game. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 44. Carter gets set, using motion. Looking for blocker. Simon stops him at the 45-yard line. He might have gotten a yard or two. That guy got knocked around by that defense. He needs a little protection from his lineman. Let's go to Melissa. I was able to talk to the team doctor, Al, and he indicated that it's a minor injury. They expect it'll take a series or two off, then return to the field. Melissa, thanks for the update. Sounds like to be back very soon. And the defender brings him down at the 42-yard line. Mitch 
Mitchell will be looking to give his team good field position here. Mitchell looks this punt into his hands. A good return on that punt. That's all your coach wants from you. you take it upfield and get some good yards. First and ten. Only one man back. Staley through the middle. He was dropped before he could get back to the line. Yeah, you can't run without good blocking. Four linemen and three linebackers lined up defensively. Looking for an opening. Running to the outside. Coakley hauls him down behind the line. He was in on the play again for another check on the stat sheet. Third and 15. Ball on their own 39. He's looking to pass. Passing to his right. Despite good coverage, he forces the ball in there. I'm not quarterback, but even I saw that he was covered. Fourth and 15. Landetta is back to punt. Number 80 sets up, waiting for the punt. Number 80 signals fair catch on this punt. Number 80 saw them closing in fast, so he signaled for the fair catch. He did the right thing, concentrated and caught the ball. So they have first and 10 here. Ball on their own 31. And he stopped at the 49 yard line. Gone. Gone. about midfield. Looking to run it here. Gardner takes him down at the 47-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. Need six. Only one man in the backfield. Man in motion. Up the gun. Loses one tackle. Simon stopped him for his third tackle so far. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. So they're almost within their kicker's range. Ball on the 45-yard line. Only one man back. Quick drive. Passing right. He hits his receiver, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. So we have first and ten here. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Philadelphia Eagles ahead of the Dallas Cowboys. 17, 14. And we'll start the fourth quarter. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. 
The backs are lined up in an eye. Looking for an opening. Taylor pulls him down at the 30. So that tackle was his third. They need about three. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll go from the eye formation. Gets rid of it. Ishmael couldn't make the catch. Carter looked a little uncomfortable in the pocket there. It was an easy pass. How the heck did he miss it? It's third down with three to go. They line up in the eye formation. Taylor makes the play at the 24-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. First and ten. Only one man back. Looking downfield, Galloway was the intended target. Carter couldn't get it to his man. No, and maybe he got held up in the line because their timing was really off on that pass. So it's second and ten. Get in there, rough him up. Smith lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Quick drop. Pump base, looking for a receiver. Carter passes it right. Emmons stopped him for his third tackle so far. He never hesitated on that pass. That was quite a throw. This guy's been blessed with a golden arm. It's first and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. The quarterback gets set with only one back behind him. Can't bring him down. Slips the tackle. Taylor with the tackle at the three-yard line. He laid a good hit on him there for his fifth tackle of the game. tight ends. Hambrick takes it to the outside. So he takes the handoff and takes it across the goal line. Yep, he just lowered his shoulders and got the short yardage that they needed. The Cowboys find themselves up by a small margin. And it's on its way and the extra point is good. A good-looking drive, and they score the touchdown. And the offensive unit should be very pleased with their performance on that one. They did everything they had to on that one. And the end result was a triple cross the goal line and a TD on the board. Number six. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. Looking upfield. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. Thrash goes in motion. Martin looking for a seam on the run and it looks like they'll mark it at the 27 yard line nice pursuit on that play yeah this is just great defense they pursue the ball follow the play as it develops and they never let the ball carrier get to the outside the eagles line up with three wide receivers throws over to his right westbrook takes him down at the 47 yard line
first and ten. Four-man front this time. On the delay. Juke move. And the defender brings him down at the 50-yard line. at about midfield. Two minutes to go. Seven yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Four-man front this time. Using motion. Drops back. He's looking, passing to his left. Nice connection. And he's tackling at the 26 yard line. Perfect spiral on that pass. Even the receiver was surprised how quickly that one got to him. That's the kind of thing you just hope you can hang on to as it goes by. First and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Make it happen, Dean, make it happen. Looking downfield. Throwing left. He finds his man. Coakley pulls him down at the 18. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. And this is the fifth play of this drive. McNair with the throw. So the pass falls incomplete in the end zone. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 18-yard line. Looking downfield. Rolls right. Gets the pass off. Nice connection. He had a quick release on that pass. Well, it's a good thing he caught it. You don't want to drop those passes for first down. Four-man front this time. Dropping back. He surveys the field with the throw. And it's complete. The defense looked like they were expecting something completely different on that play. The defense has to do a better job of play recognition than that. Nothing makes you look worse than being caught out of position. And the other team taking advantage of going in for the score. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. The Eagles leading in the game, but not by much. Akers is just about ready to kick this one away. He sends this one toward the end zone. He'll be returning this one. Offense taking over again here. The last time they ran the ball very effectively and got it into the end zone. There's still time left as they try to get into field goal range, but you would think most of the passes will go toward the sideline. So they have first and ten here. Emmons pulls him down at the 36. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. The quarterback's going to be the guy making this thing happen. He should realize that there's still a lot of time left, knowing it's only a field goal they need. As long as he can move him down the field quickly and avoid third and longs, they'll have a chance to at least tie this thing. Looking downfield. Passes left. Taylor hammered it loose. As a receiver, you know that you're going to get hit when you catch a ball. You see it so many times. They get hammered and only have a drop pass to show for it. Second down, and they have to get into field goal range to tie. If they can get close enough with time left, they might even be able to take a shot or two at the end zone and try and get the win. He's looking to pass. Stepping up, he's looking. Emmons was intent on getting to the quarterback on that play. He got there, boom! He made himself a quarterback pancake. They'll be looking to convert here on third down. One thing they can't afford to do here is take a sack. So they might want to keep it a back to block for maximum protection. Looking to throw. 
He surveys the field. Carter looking for something on the right, so he can't bring it in. I'm not sure why he dropped that one. The quarterback delivered it right to him. This is pretty much their last shot of making something happen. They've got to come together if they want to pull this one out. I'd throw it to my go-to guy and trust him to make the play. Throws over to his right. And so the offense comes off the field after failing to get the first. They have to hope that their defense can hold him out. I know the coach loves it when he can tell his quarterback, just go out there for a kneel down. Because that means you've got yourself a win. They're in field goal range. Four-man front this time. The Cowboys take the timeout. That's their final timeout. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. A kneel down here should be the last play of the game. They face with a long third down play here. Nickelback in this time. That'll wrap this one up, and the final score is Philadelphia 24, Dallas 21.